Welcome to Face Jam, uh-huh. the show where we try every new fast food creation to let you know if you need it, you probably do. I'm your host, Michael Jones, alongside my co host. I butchered that one. <laughs> Fell apart in the end. Hi, I'm Michael Jones. Jordan's with me. Hi, Jordan. Hi. Swears. Hey, it's me. I'm here. I'm fine. Uh, How are you? You were sounding like the let's get ready to rumble guy. A little bit. Which oh, I, that's I, cool. You I, can't I say that bring, though, right? It's bringing a good energy. Is that trademarked? Oh, do you not? Yeah. Like Michael Buffer costs like You 100... can't say that. I can't say Michael Buffer. Also... Michael B word. <laughs> oh, you can't say his Michael name. Michael B word. Is he one of the Buffer brothers? Let's get ready to rumble! See... Like that. This is where it becomes a problem because yep. I'm pretty sure that uh-huh. copyright or trademark applies to how you say yes, it. Yes, and not I, well, that's why I said it, it so legally distinct. Well, his, oh yeah, I, I don't know that it's his brother. It might be his cousin. Is the guy who does the UFC announcements, and they uh, both okay. work on Stranger Things. What the fuck is that? The name of the guys from Stranger Things? Oh, I didn't know that. I don't watch Stranger Things. <laughs> I think a lot of people that do watch Stranger Things still don't know that. that. the show with the Pop-Tarts? What is the kitty? Pop-Tarts. <laughs> yeah. <is> the, <laughs> he eats Pop-Tarts. No, he eats, he eats the dice, doesn't he? He eats they the eat dice? The little figures. <laughs> they eat, di- they they eat, eat the little Dungeon figures. and Dice figures. Oh. No, that's Dungeon Dice Monsters. Oh. From Yu-Gi-Oh. oh. You're talking about Duke Devlin. Oh, yeah. Okay. I think I know what this is now. So they don't This is Space pop- Jam. Oh, right. The food podcast where we where we talk about para and doc <laughs> and solving their riddles oh. to escape the maze <laughs> hey. well you have to you have to beat them in a duel in a maze today <laughs> we're reviewing the maze that was denny's my hammy spice sandwich i didn't understand the name until uh this morning when i was filling the sheet out and uh it was like oh it's it's a bit of a reach yeah it's, it's why building, hammy spice it's yeah building, because it's 2023 so i didn't Really right. connect. It's building on the moons over my hammy mm-hmm. <laughs> joke. Yeah, I guess. But that's then it's been a staple of Denny's for too long. Yeah. Um, and yeah, it's it, it it's just like too many layers at this and then point. And then my and then Miami Vice, which is just another like not relevant yeah. thing. It's also right. it's a lot of layers for Denny's. Yes. Who no one yes. cares about yeah. and is looking at. Yeah. You know, right. like Denny's and, is coming out with layers like an onion. You think so Denny's is a, a glass onion? It's a real glass I, onion. I, I situation. feel like they they're not, and they should stop trying to be. They're they're just a regular. I was onion. really embreviating that meal. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you've seen it. Yep. Yes, we talked it's about. Been, it's been what four episodes yeah. running? Finally, I, I, we've all seen I, it. It's probably weaved its way through this and spit and silly. Yeah, I can't yeah. imagine it has. Because we talked about Renner, and I didn't get the Renner reference until I watched it. I the moment like he like there's the insert shot. Yeah, I go. Got it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even remember the. I, I just remember the first thing we talked about was like getting uh, something spoiled. Like last yeah. Christmas, we were talking about last Christmas, and it's in the title. Yes. Like you could figure yeah. it out. Mm-hmm. And Glass Onion, very similarly, mm-hmm. you were like, "I want you to remember this conversation when you watch Glass Onion." And it's just like, "Oh, I've solved it." Yeah. yeah. And it's going. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> I gotta say, bold move on the part of a mystery story to uh-huh. go with the most obvious. Like y- y- outcome, I, I guess spoilers for Glass Onion, but also it's it's, an, it's a Netflix it's, movie, so you but, should not care about this. Well, um, here's the thing. Well, uh-huh. okay, okay, all right. Uh-huh. Siskel and Ebert, I'm Siskel and Ebert. You're I'm, both. I'm Roper. <laughs> okay, <laughs> and he's Statler and Waldorf. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> boo! Yeah, that's pretty good. No, I don't know. Um, I kind of liked it. <laughs> Yep. It's <laughs> it's a movie that gives you no reason to rewatch it and is just so like the solved mystery is like he just keeps going this is fucking dude, stupid. Dude, the the, the, the the character in the movie is going this is fucking I mean, let me I, I I've said this I've said this before and I truly believe that this could work and would be accepted. Uh-huh. Okay? I, I like the movie. It's very stupid. Yes. It's wild that it's a sequel to the first one. Yeah. It's just so totally different. Yeah. But like you said, the the biggest thing that's the same is is you know ben Dan- Daniel Blanc. Craig's character, and it's like it it's not that his character is different. Mm-hmm. It's just that even him saying this is so stupid. Yeah. It's like the character from the first movie would not put up with this. No. It's just so silly. Yeah. It's so silly. I he knew. It's very silly. I it's much sillier. Kn- I knew I was fucking in for it. 
when they showed him in the bath playing Among, playing Among Us. Us. Yeah. And I just that's, went. That's how it like opens up. He's I, in the bath uh, playing Among Us. And he's like, I've solved it. I think we got, <laughs> but, we got 30 minutes in and my wife went, do you think this becomes charming at any point? <laughs> because this is rough. I think, I think what it did was like take the caricature of, mm -hmm of the cast a little too far. Like they became, yes. they became too parody. Here's what you do. Parodies yeah. of so there's already a third what they one. were doing. There's a third one coming out. Okay. Like we know that. How do you, right? how do you fix it? it simple. Uh -huh. In the most infuriating way, but I don't think ever done across movies. The third one opens up. He goes, huh, what a weird dream. Yes. <laughs> and you'd go. Dr dreams about a, a and, glass and like, onion yeah. what? and an island. That was so weird. The dumbest and, and, man. Yeah. 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 Literally, you go, oh, okay. And yeah. then the third one is normal again. Yes. Right. Yeah. And he, he, Who would care? Hugh no Grant's there and he's like, movie. he's like, sorry, uh, I just realized, like, so, somebody said in Breathiate, and it was like, that yeah. was in my dream. Yeah. <laughs> the... My problem with the movie is that it's not fun until about 50 minutes in. And before that, it's not as charming as it thinks it is. Catherine Hahn is in that movie and has nothing to do. And yeah. that is fucking crazy. Kind of a waste of her, unfortunately. It is like... Yeah, she's kind of just chilling. It's like, here are some people. And Kate Hudson! <laughs> and it's like, oh, okay. But she's cool. like anti-vax. She is, man. I feel like the first Not movie, Kate Hudson, the character. I don't know about Kate Hudson. Could she be. could be. She keeps talking Probably about is. being a Nepo baby and how it's actually okay and good. It's pretty cool. <laughs> I don't even know. Is uh -huh. that like a Neopet? What is that? <laughs> Neopet? Is that like a Dude, new Tamagotchi? Stacy, did you have Neopets? Did you have a Nepo baby? Yeah! Tamagotchi, Tamagotchi Neopets, Digimon, uh -huh. Neopet, Nepo babies. Uh, so um, I'm going to... We should... Million dollar idea yeah, that we talk can work on right show. now. <laughs> No, yeah, I give a fuck. Absolutely not. Yeah, don't don't worry about it. Um, it's it's Denny's. Don't worry about it's it. It's a Nepo baby Tamagotchi lot. crossover. Wow, where you got to take care of your Nepo baby, and you got to make it become a star. It's very easy. Now everything you need, <laughs> you already have. You've got you have all the resources uh, at your fingertips. You can do whatever you want. Yeah, yes. but uh -huh. your parents are divorced. Oh so that's yeah, that's a oh that's got and you that, have, that was so, a yeah. real and, challenge. And you for have me growing some up. deadbeat stepdad. Yeah, and they're who, all all who what's his name Russell. Yeah. <laughs> What's his name, Russell? He only has two Oscars. Yeah, it's fucking... It was rough. Uh, if your parents aren't famous He always for, dressed up as Snake Plissken yeah, for Halloween. Yeah, he dressed <laughs> Every up. year. Now he dresses up like Santa. Uh, <laughs> if your parents weren't famous movie stars, they were just entertainment lawyers, and then now here you are. And it's like, stop... Stop coming out and saying it's actually okay that it be an Epo baby. And it's like, it's just don't say anything. Just don't say yeah. anything. It's fine. You don't right, have to you say anything. You can't help it. No, you can't help it. You can't not be born the way right, you're born right. you but can't also control you can that. just but, shut but the hell also up shut <laughs> up <Yeah. laughs> shut. at no point are people gonna go you're right i think that you're right about this and it's good that you said that <laughs> say so much less it's bad it's not good people it's know that like you know hey you only got hired at denny's because it's in the family <laughs> yep but we can't all be that lucky i'm denny jr our, getting our wiener sucked as a tip Okay. That was Denny Jr. in the video. <laughs> let me let me let me say this too. We had uh, I, our our neighbor friend. Our neighbor friend with us. <laughs> That's to, right. To fill in for Nick, he came with us to Denny's. You may remember him from some unhinged ad read. <laughs> and, or unhinged uh, show. Yeah. He got trucks. He got real excited when we mentioned the Denny's fact. Yep. Looked it up and then started critiquing it. It was immediately like, this doesn't like, count. Yeah. This poor guy. Yeah. You call that a tip? <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty good. It was, uh, our, our friend Armando came and he was pretty excited to eat Denny's. Um, yeah, apparently, you know, you come to Austin, which is just this food mecca. Mm -hmm. uh, so many interesting restaurants, local places. And uh, he went to Whataburger three times. He had Chili's last night. Yeah, and, and last, Denny's last today. week, uh -huh. uh, he wormed his way on another shitty podcast yep. I do. Mm -hmm. And uh, afterwards, went to fucking Waffle House. He went to the, he Waffle, went to the House Waffle House House with Pasta Pete, like the chair yep. throw one. That's in Austin. I didn't know that. Yeah. Is, is it the one over on 290? I guess, uh, yeah. yeah. I, I, don't I, guess know. So. I don't know another one. Yeah, that yeah. is. Yes. Wow. So they went it. over there with... Uh, Did they see the chair catching lady? No. no she no, doesn't work there. She, she got fired. He, for yeah, catching a chair? Well, probably for punching customers. Yeah. 
And <laughs> hey, all I saw was her catching a chair. I, you didn't watch the whole video. It was it was filmed. She was punching customers and throwing plates and shit. Like everyone in that store went berserk. Everyone in there. So was you can't lost punch people. Mind. You yeah. can't get blowjobs. Yeah. What can you do? What as a restaurant worker? What can't your hands are tied behind your back? Yeah. They're oh. like cops. Well, we your did. Hands are we true. did. Hang on. Yeah. We How did do you see, expect us to enforce restaurants? We did see. When we went into Denny's that they were hiring. Yes. Out, like, incredible hiring. benefits. And yeah. I was like, the incredible benefits. And I was like, maybe they let you get a tip now. As far as, we learned our lesson. We'll let you get any tip a customer uh, wants to give you. I mean, right. with the sheer amount of people at the Denny's when we went to it, you All probably could have just gotten away with it. It was oh, yeah. one guy who sat us at the table, never to be seen again. The yeah, where'd that guy go? No idea. Oh, he probably went in the back to cook our food. <laughs> the woman who served us who came over, I mean, to ask us what we wanted, to give us what we wanted, and then we had to go to her to pay. Right. And then there was no one else Dude, in you the went, restaurant. You, well, also, there was someone waiting forever yes. at the front. What the fuck? Yeah, and also, there. you went up to pay, and it took like 10 minutes, and she I don't said, know why. She I just, walked out. She just <laughs> went, computer. And I went, <laughs> right, what? Right, computer, <laughs> but also, you are... Walking around doing she, chores. I thought maybe she thought I was there for like a DoorDash thing, and I went, "You just served me food. I don't know what happened." She doesn't remember that. Uh -uh, no, let me uh, let me pay you, please. Uh, she was. She certainly she didn't was, remember the big man who came in with she us. She was one. <laughs> level, wedge himself into the booth. She was one to two levels shy of being like pissed off. Yes. Yeah. She wasn't yeah. there. Nah. -uh. She wasn't there. But she was close. There, even, was, there even wasn't we, enough happening for her right. to be pissed. No, even when she was ready, we, to were, be mad. we were prepared. We had our yep. order ready. She was like. All right, you guys ready to order? And we're like, or do you want your drinks? And yep. like the way she said it was like, well, she's about to get pissed. It yep. was skirting if we're the not line. Ready, she was thinking about pissed. getting mad. Yeah. So then Eric was like, think, we're going to order I, now. Yeah, I don't think because of us. I think it was right. an unrelated incident. But, but even it could have gotten taken out Even on her us, response. Or more Armando. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Even her response to Eric saying we're ready to order was like, she was annoyed by it. Yeah. And it's like, I, okay. I, you was, asked. I'm sorry. Like, oh. Yeah. Uh, but. Anyway, I mean, there was no one else in that Denny's to make nope. her mad. Nope. Uh, there were a couple of people sitting behind us and then they left and then it was empty. No one there. They are. They are hiring. Yeah. Late night gamers. Gay. Late night gamers. That was. Oh, I don't. I don't understand I that. Thought about that. So it was a sign. I imagine for like overnight shifts. Yeah. Right. You know, or late night shifts. Because they, Denny's got to be open. And it also, the top hours. one made sense because it was like, hey, night owl. Yeah. Yes. That means you're awake. That's all it implies. It just means right. you're awake. But then the bottom one under that was like. Are you a late night gamer? And I went, well, how could I come to work then? I right. would be playing video games, playing video at, night. games at night. I, I'd be a late night worker. Yes. Right. Late night I'm gamer. not a daytime and so gamer. I think how is this helpful at all? And then all communication broke down. Jordan decided not to apply. Yeah. <laughs> at that point, he went, he went, well, there's no point. Fuck this. I'm, no a, I'm a late night I'm gamer. A, I'm not playing games. I'm not, <laughs> what am I going to do work during the day? I'm not Fuck coming you. to Denny's getting tips at night. Yep. <laughs> all the best tips happen at night. All the best tips probably happen at noon, apparently, when uh, yeah, no one's in no the restaurant. At lunchtime. The breakfast <laughs> rush is over. And we, it, went to, we went to the Wendy's. Uh, the Wendy's. Wendy's. Also, <laughs> the Denny's. This Denny's was ugly as shit, too. It's one well, of those on the, ugly on ass the inside, outside. It looks, it looks like every other oh, yeah, Denny's yeah, on the, the, inside, the outside. But the outside is like... It's one, of those, it's, yeah. one of the, it's one of those old chrome looking yeah. it like food like, trucks. Like everything's yeah. really reflective. But it's a, like a, but like it's a, a 50s building. Diner. It's like they wanted a building to look like an Airstream trailer. It does. It's, it's exactly what it looks like. It's like an Airstream it's trailer. It's a more obnoxious Johnny Rockets. It is. is. what it is. Yeah. It's just a suit. It's too shiny. And, and then, then you, you walk in and it's normal. And then they have uh, handwritten signs and crayon that say 401k. Come work here. <laughs> Apply today. Uh, interviews on the spot. <laughs> It's like, oh, okay. maybe maybe that's why they were so busy. Everyone was in the back. Oh, they were doing Inter interviews. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like round robin. Do interviews. you think that's why that yeah. guy was there for so long? Yeah. Mm, he was mm. waiting. Yeah. Makes sense. Tough competition. Um, Jordan, do you want to do a haiku so that way we can learn about Denny's? And we can learn about Denny's from your haiku. The uh, first time I did a haiku was Denny's. So we kind of wow. full circle. Is that true? Yeah. Wow. I had to scroll all the way to the bottom of this note. Oh, that's so crazy. See, um, uh oh. So, uh, so here's part two of Denny's. Drunk at 3 a.m. Uh -huh. Moon looms large in Florida. I ain't eating that. <laughs> <It's> a, <laughs> that seems uh, very right. What, uh, what is, is Moon's over Miami? That's not the sandwich, right? No. So they have the Miami sandwich. Do they still have the dish where the namesake originates? Because I've never had it, and I never... 
I don't. I'm gonna look it up. I don't know. It was just I, who was, was fighting to keep this stupid thing alive, dude. Somebody really loves that joke. And needs somebody to just like it. the lore, the moon's over my hammy. <laughs> 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 he saw it once and was just like, I'll it's never so, forget. So it is the sandwich. Okay, the moon's over my hammy is a sandwich. Okay, I always thought it was some sort of platter. Yeah, me too. But moon's over Miami. Moon over Miami is a movie from 1941. With probably Betty Grable. Probably pretty relevant to Denny's. Yeah. Oh my God. So so nobody really gets the joke the anymore. Grabler? The Grabler's in it. Grabes? Yeah, Grabe? big Grabes. Grabler. Wow, 1941. Don't That's get on her crazy. bad side and uh -uh. get the Grabes of And wrath. Robert Cummings. Come on. Stop just saying names. Stop making jokes. <laughs> Let's learn about Denny's. Even more so uh -huh. with these Denny's facts. I'm about to get Our previous Denny. You're about to get hard. Yeah. Our previous <laughs> Denny's episode was released... Marcy 16. <laughs> when you started doing the haiku, I looked and I saw that and I said, uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> Eric for two minutes from now is in trouble. He made a face that made me look at it and then he, and then I saw him looking at me looking at it. And I didn't even see it yet. And he started going, no. So who's uh, Marcy? Anyway, it was released with Marcy 16, 2021, where we ate. The Denny's Big Dipper Melt. It received an average score of 49. Fun fact. Yeah. Last time I had Denny's, Marcy 16th, 2021. <laughs> Do you guys remember that at all? In no way. I remember the haiku. That's it. Yeah, I, don't, it I don't remember what the Big Dipper Melt was. It was just a, a sandwich. Yes, it's a sandwich. I had to pick it up from the Denny's that was like up off the freeway up north Over or whatever. By, yeah. yeah. Like and it was such a fucking headache to get. It, oh, I hated it. I hated that Denny's. But... We went to the cool one. Who so you who like, likes Denny's? Right. I'm just so now that you have the two. Right. Which one? Which that one's one's I would better. rather go pick up food from the other Denny's to bring it to you than go to the that first Denny's that I had gone to. It's oh, okay. Just a fucking headache. Okay. Yep. So Airstream or Denny's wins. Yeah. Okay. Fact two. Denny's opened its first New York City location in 2014, and to mark the occasion, it offered a Grand Cru Slam. Which what? consisted of two Grand Slam meals and a bottle of Dom Perignon. Okay. You're not just in a Denny's. You're in a Manhattan Denny's. Oh, boy. Franchise owner Rahul Marwa said, as millions of rats <laughs> crept out of the sewers <laughs> and prepared to feast on never-ending moons over Miami trash. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that, that fact rules. That, that was a good one. <laughs> You're, we hey, we have terrible hey, news. Hey, you're in a Manhattan Denny's. It's a three hundred dollar. It was three hundred dollars. Three hundred dollars for the one well, bottle of Dom Perignon and was, two Grand Slams. I was gonna, you, I was gonna that, say ten bucks of that is the yeah, two Grand yep. Slams. Mm -hmm. Is that how do you pronounce the? Is that Grand Cru Slam? Is that a typo or uh, what is that? Grand Cru, I think, is like a drink thing. C R U oh. Crew. See, oh, see, we we are normal people just, well, who just, don't go to Denny's. Well, it's also and, Eric and we just don't has so many typos. Like when he right, says Marcy yeah. sixteen, no. I don't know what Grand Crew means. Is if that's name, supposed to say something else? Is his name even I'm Rahul just Marwa? Grand Crew <laughs> is a non-official descriptor for other products such as beer and chocolate. So it's wine. It's like what? wine. Crew is wine. C R U. But it says it consisted of two I thought, Grand Slam I thought meals. Crew was so what I'm you did confused. when you rode. On the team. That's true. That's C R E W. I yeah, believe. Oh. And it's you gotta get up at 3 a.m. Yeah. Danny's yeah. official blog says, quote, Danny's ran for public office in 2000. I assume the year 2000. Yep. On the platform of love and breakfast for all. End quote. We heard Danny's still got more votes than House Speaker Kevin <laughs> <laughs> House Speaker Kevin McCarthy. And then is that a is that a smirky? It's like yeah. a little smirky. It's a emoji. smirk, a smirky, and then it says folks. <laughs> dot dot dot. I, I imagine it's supposed to be read like this. Go ahead, folks. Yeah, that's pretty good. You just kind of have to do it like a Seth Meyers kind of situation, you know? Yep. Folks. Yep. You kind of um, that the little smirk is kind of like holding for applause. Yeah. He got it. Yeah. <laughs> he got it. Yeah. Yeah, like so he, what if it took so what more if, votes if it took in the people, last 200 years? People getting their face squeezed before <laughs> blows were thrown. And then also the soon to be and then House Speaker going to Matt Gates going, I'll kill you. I'll kill you. I'll kill your whole family. I'll kill your whole family. River of blood. We a river of blood, you son of a bitch. You motherfucking son of a bitch. And then he patted him on the shoulder and then and then he voted president. 
Um, it's all he needed to do. The, the thing, nine people voted president. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll, kill, what, I'll kill you all. What I've really liked uh, since McCarthy With got his the mouth votes, away from the camera because he knows where it is. Uh, right. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what, I've, what I've liked about McCarthy so far is that now that it's, it's passed and everything, the pictures of him are like, he has to like rebuild this image of right. him being like a tough a, guy, like a, a strong good leader. Uh, leader. No, so he doesn't it, like my image gallery because yeah. <laughs> I was taking a picture of every single headline. And and don't get me wrong, these are super biased headlines. Yeah. I don't even care what article, like magazines they were from. But it's like Kevin McCarthy, like goddamn loser, yeah. loses again, <laughs> idiot, embarrassing, fifteen idiot. time loser, and Kevin I'm McCarthy. Like, I'm like, this is so biased. This rules. So I'm just like, hey, this dumb fucking idiot lost again, <laughs> dumbass. <laughs> The New York Times. <laughs> they dragged it out for <laughs> so long. Oh, it was crazy. It was really great. Anyway, he I won. had a great time. He won. Yep. You lost. I win. You lose. <laughs> In 2016, Denny's announced that they were going to be using cruelty-free eggs, but Nick thinks the cruelty is where Denny's got so much of its flavor before, and he says he wants them to quote bring back the cruelty. End quote. Yikes. That's so crazy because I heard him saying this. Yeah. Uh, fucking- I can neither confirm nor deny, and he's not here to defend he, himself. He so also, I'll, I'll right. have to assume he it's also, correct. He also kept saying, put that on the record. Yeah. <laughs> put that on the record. <laughs> well, I want to be cruel and well fed. <laughs> Nick will you do, quote me on that. I fucking dare you. Nick will do anything to go back to 2000. <laughs> I won't even I won't even show up for this episode, mm-hmm. you motherfucker. <laughs> I'll pretend All I'm right. sick. Well, this is the last fact. And if you thought you were going to avoid the incident, you uh, were wrong. Yep. Just wanted to give an update <laughs> about that Denny's waiter who got fired for getting his dick sucked up in a Denny's <laughs> in 2021. According... <laughs> According cock sucking expert Slime County on Reddit, quote, she she didn't suck his dick. She, she just put it in her mouth. There's a fucking difference. This guy got ripped off, and so did I. End quote. Which ironically is almost verbatim what Armando said in the car. And he has not seen this. Is, fact Arma- is Armando Slime County? When, when he immediately pulled up the video, that's the exact same thing he said. He kept going, that doesn't count. This guy got ripped off. He kept saying that. But what he didn't say, what he didn't say, which I think is more incriminating to Slime County here, mm-hmm. he did not say, and so did and I. And so did I. Slime County was like, I was... I was ready to go. This was. I was all. Will you ever find the perfect video? <laughs> and then it ends. Right. No. It was just getting good. Uh, there's a fucking difference. <laughs> Woo. All right. That's an all timer fact. I yeah, like it that. is. <laughs> What a um, fucking slime county on Reddit. I, like, I, I, so you, know, you know, again, in slime like, county. Also, into a couple it. of loss of words there. According to yeah, yeah. experts, I got two, so here's, you so got here's so what excited. happened. I got so excited <laughs> God, thinking, to according to cock sucking expert, that no, I, I just got, no, I fucking I flew. <laughs> I just went. Oh God! It's just. When, I gotta get this on the I page. I couldn't get through Kevin McCarthy. I understand. I was a when, when God serves it up to you, you you just. I'm excited like a dog. Like <laughs> feed me, print, feed me, print, feed print, me. Print, print, print. Stop! You're throwing up. <laughs> Marcy oh, died, so cocksucking expert slime <laughs> county on Reddit could live. Where um. What subreddit was that? Do you know? Um, I think it was... Was it... It was either Denny's related or something else related. I looked it up on my work computer. Let me find out. <laughs> <laughs> That's smart. That's smart. Yeah. Uh, man. Uh, uh, what is this? Uh, I don't know. The fact? Sexy. Hang on. <clears throat> uh, oh, I'm on work laptop also. Uh, and I'm... Oh, God. The video's playing. Uh r slash trashy boners <laughs> yep see that, that sexy tracks. sexy girl sucks denny's waiter's dick instead of a tip this, this then, guy, top then, comment this then, guy got ripped off and now again now and now remember with the separate where you are this guy got ripped off and so did i so did i it, it very much tracks oh my god he wanted to get ripped off but he didn't he yeah. had a trashy boner Dude. trashy boner wasted yep 
Slime County just going for it. Oh, it's great. He says... <laughs> and Eric's just continuing to read this now. <laughs> Hang on. Says, can, can we go to this guy's profile and see what okay. other things he's commenting on? It's <laughs> a good idea. <laughs> well, you know, I did finish the Denny's fact, so he could spit some silly. It's true. Uh, she didn't suck his dick. She just put it in her mouth. There's a fucking difference. This guy just got ripped off, and so did I. Please end me, fam, replied. Are you okay, man? <laughs> <laughs> Slime County... Do you not get upset when you see an injustice? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my God. Okay. This guy's pretty funny. He's approaching it from a whole different angle. Yeah. This could be a future Captain America. I hadn't thought about it like that. Oh, he, it, this is, um, oh boy. Oh, he posts, this is a lot of, you shouldn't. Is there to, some rhetoric going on? No, he just, where he posts. Oh. Is, uh, mm. I shouldn't be on this. Some sort of late night gamer. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's definitely. Well, he was going to get hired at Denny's, but he still sees the injustice. Oh, man. Well, Slime County, congratulations to you. Um, featured for an extended period of time on this podcast. <laughs> it's, it's a true honor. <laughs> do you not get upset when you see an injustice? <laughs> He could do this all day. I like a guy <laughs> named Please End Me Fam saying, are you all right? Yeah. Come on, guys. Yeah. Get, get Dude, it together. When when Please End Me Fam is the one asking if you're okay, maybe you have reached rock oh, bottom. Fuck, dude. Well, that's, uh, did you guys learn a lot about Denny's? Not really. What? Um, I'm still confused about the Grand Cru Slam. Why? I'm confused why you put an emoji in the facts so and then that printed it know. out in grayscale. So <laughs> yeah, the, I mean, splurge for color, man. Come on, it's like you gotta click settings. Eh, I don't want to. I don't want to uh, use all the work ink. You That's know what, what I mean. It is. You're a hero. Sure, yeah. yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. You'll use all the work bandwidth looking up Slime County's comment history, <laughs> but you won't use color ink. That's where we draw the line. <laughs> Well, I mean, to be fair, you can't just say Slime County. You have to say cocksucking experts. <laughs> Please. He worked hard for that title <laughs> that Eric gave him. Was that in 2021? Yeah, uh, I I think it. Yeah. Was that yeah, video yeah. like. So the, it, the, the, it, like, it, it happened. I think it happened like right before our episode. Oh, that's crazy. I think it was like new, like when our episode happened. I didn't realize that. Or I did and just forgot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And someone listening is going, yeah, you, yeah, you, you talked about it, Michael. Yep. You said in this episode. Wow, I can't believe it's new. Yeah. So you remember. Yeah, you remember, and, right? And I say to you, by the fact that I've clearly forgotten, I don't remember. <laughs> That's I was just wrong. <laughs> you know who remembers? Slime County. <laughs> <laughs> He'll never forget. <laughs> He'll never forget the wrongs of this world. I, I was going to say that Marcy 16, 2021 <laughs> sounds like way too recent for that episode. Yeah. But... Here but we that are was in January yeah, 2023. Yeah. Yep. In my brain, it's like, that was a year ago. No. No. Dude, it's almost when, two years. when it was almost January 6th again, mm -hmm. there was a there was like a day, like a whole day. I was thinking to myself, like, man, the one year anniversary. <laughs> and I forgot it was two years. Two years. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking crazy. Uh Eric just learned that January 6th is the last day of the 12 days of Christmas. I still think this is made up. It doesn't make sense to me. The 12 days of Christmas would be the days leading up to Christmas. Would they not? In a sensible world? Sure. Okay. I can see that. That's kind of like the, that's, that's like the 24 days of Christmas. Right. Which really even makes no sense. Or if you call it 25, I guess it's some, some advent calendar stop at 24, which seems insane to yeah. me. It's like, it's like, yeah, don't forget about it Christmas. It should go up to Christmas, not okay, Christmas, you take over. Our work here is yeah. done. Here's where it gets that's, more confusing. Uh -huh. Some people, Consider the first day of Christmas mm -hmm. the 26th. Yeah. So you have so, Christmas and that's day zero. And then you go I'm 12 sorry. days after. And that. then we started oh. talking. I found out about that's Orthodox weird. Christmas. Right. Orthodox Christmas, which is January 7th. Yeah. Seems pretty unorthodox. That's what I'm saying. It doesn't make any sense and, to me. And if you are an Orthodox Christian mm -hmm. who celebrates the 12 days of Christmas, it's going all the way to the 18th. You could be celebrating Christmas for almost a month if you do both. I don't think you can celebrate that long. I don't uh, think no. it's physically possible. Nuh -uh. I think you can drag your feet. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. think I if think your you trees can, still I, up. You, it's not. You know, yeah, right. what I, 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 I think once a day you could be like eh, Christmas. Yeah, I really, I really <laughs> think Christmas. Christmas really benefits. Mm -hmm. I mean, not so much here in Texas or really California, but places that have weather. In that, it gets to be kind of like a month long event. Right. You know, once the Thanksgiving is over, season. it's it's. Right. Christmas kind of benefits from holiday. Yeah. Because it gets cooler. You know, if it's snowing, you get the lights and it shit. It feels like, magical. That makes sense. Like, 
You can have Christmas trees and Christmas decorations for a month without celebrating shit. Yeah. It's just like, cool, I'm going to get ready. And then you get Christmas Eve, you get Christmas, you're fucking done. That's it. Pack it up, you're done. Yeah. No done. more. We no don't more. need to drag this thing out. Orthodox Christmas. That's crazy. There was a schism. Jordan keeps describing it as a schism. Okay. There was a schism was in, it in, like, was it in like the... The 11th century, and now there's two different facts of Christianity. How many, and now oh, we have two Christmases. So what about so like the, when your what parents about, get divorced? It's uh -huh. like a big schism, and you get he two Christmases. He also Christmases. keeps calling his parents divorce a schism. Your parents got divorced? Well, yeah, they got couple, schismed. Sorry, a couple years ago, yeah. It was really hard for me as a Nepo baby. <laughs> for, as, a, as a grown were, adult Nepo yeah, baby yeah. Were, a few years you were ago. Born yeah. into, you were born into this family <laughs> Nepo baby style. <laughs> yeah. We're all Nepo babies. They really yeah, doted you it. just like your siblings. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, so much love in that house. It was it was quite a challenge. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty daunting. Uh, didn't you say there's also an anti-pope? Yeah, in the schism, there are two popes. And the, uh, the other pope was called the anti-pope. What is he talking about? He's talking about the schism. He trailed off and then came back. And I, I thought we were done. There's a pope. And I thought there was I kind of popped in and but poked around back, and now derailed him. Now we're back. Guys, it's fine. Now we're back to one pope. The other pope just died, right? Yeah, that, the anti-pope. Dude, that guy was definitely an anti-pope. That was the anti-pope. That piece of shit pope that everybody hated. That guy was the Nazi pope. Yep. Was he like a Nazi? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, yeah, The guy scored the line. Yep. I think he's like the first pope in like 500 popes to be like, eh, I'm going to quit. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to do this anymore. And yeah, then he yeah, I'm feeling pretty unpope like. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, I came here to have a this. good time, and honestly, I'm feeling Guys, I don't know what I don't now. know what color smoke you got to fire off, but I'm out of here. <laughs> I'm here for a good time, not for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> where's hey, where's Jude Law? Yeah, <laughs> we, need young, hot we need a young pope. So we get that hot fucking pope, <laughs> and then we need a new pope. Knock knock. Hello. Get, get out of my house. Uh, Hello? Hi. Sorry. I don't know what he's doing here. I'm What's hanging up? out. Yeah. It's me, HelloFresh. What? I'm, we're doing a thing. Oh. Oh, oh okay. Hi. Eric, I you're not, you're not part of Michael, it. Michael, I also didn't understand Hi, it. Mr. Fresh. How are you? What am I? Oh, I mean, HelloFresh, what are you? With HelloFresh, you get farm fresh pre-portioned ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep, where I'm standing right now, because I'm HelloFresh. Well, and you're here to deliver delicious food for me? Yeah, so that you can skip trips to the grocery store and count on me, HelloFresh, to make home cooking easy, fun, and affordable. That's because you've got New Year's goals, and HelloFresh, which is Jordan in the situation, it's Jordan in the situation. Mm -hmm. if you didn't get I don't it. know why you're speaking He's for me. here. To help you achieve that house, I'm just helping. Help yourself out. <laughs> <laughs> let me let me ask uh, you this, Jordan Fresh, because um, eating well please, is please, Jay Fresh, is top of mind this month for me. Mm -hmm. And I guess like I need to know if like I'm always gonna get top quality ingredients with HelloFresh, and like are they how? How far are they going to travel and how long is it going to take to get from the farm to me? Probably like a million days, right? It will be comforting to you to know that ingredients travel from the farm to you, uh -huh. to where I'm standing right now, which is in less than house. seven days. Mm -hmm. Wow. So you know they're fresh. That is Otherwise, that's fast. I wouldn't be J fresh. That's right. true. That's hard to get them much faster than that. Mm -hmm. Unless, you know, then you got to question transdimensional Warping and stuff. Yeah, that's true. We uh, haven't done that yet. J Fresh and Hello Fresh will neither confirm nor deny if okay. we have oh, yeah. oh, fair enough. technology. Not, I'm, you know, I don't mean to overstep my bounds. Um, but yeah, this sounds great. Are you tired of snowy schleps to the grocery store to stock up on snacks, sides, desserts, and more? Well, you can do that without the without schleps. doing that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No more schleps. I don't have any snowy schleps, but I'm sure a lot of people do. Yeah, I so used to. I just was, use I use Hello Fresh Schleppy. Market there, for that. There was that there is? was a day in Texas where it was a snowy schlep. Yeah, uh, you can get oh, all that stuff at Hello Fresh snow Market. Snow. Simply add these staples and sweets to your weekly order, okay. and they'll arrive at your doorstep along with your meals. Stuff that isn't meals. Yeah. Additional food items. But, but the thing is, the meals are so good. Me and Michael have been enjoying the Philly style beef melts. No, I had one. Uh -huh. Wait a minute. No, I, I had some, and then there was the leftovers. Left, uh, leftovers, right. And we yeah, I was going to say, I brought that to it? you like last week yeah. when I was here. And right. This guy was not. No, I, don't know I, who this guy I, is. No, I made it. Mm -hmm. It was really good. Yes, it was. It was like a nice, it like was crunchy bread. Crunchy bread. No, with, you didn't have potato any. Wedges. I ate half of it, and uh -huh. then I put the other half uh -huh. away. Uh huh. That's right. I put the other half away. 
I don't know what I don't. I uh, ate it. He ate my food. He I ate his food. I had. I, I had put the food away and I ate. That's it. a federal crime. When I when well, he when, did it while he was reading my mail too. When I show up and it's addressed to Michael, uh, somebody named Michael or last name Jones has to eat that food. Yeah. <sighs> what he's oh uh, anyway. Oh boy. Uh, I think how, I think Eric's in trouble. How how can our listeners enjoy an offer such like this? Yeah, Jay Fresh. Well, if you go to HelloFresh.com slash FaceJam21 and use code FaceJam21, you just type it in twice, mm-hmm. you will get 21 free meals plus free shipping. You're telling me I go to HelloFresh.com slash FaceJam21 and use code FaceJam21. I get 21 free meals plus free shipping that me and Michael can eat together. That's exactly what I told you. Wow. Yes. We're going to have so many meals, Michael. We're going to be able to, uh, two friends. Eat. I'm not, we're yeah. not doing this this year. What? New year, new gag. New year. What's the gag? New rules. Uh Uh-huh. Get out of town with this amazing deal (laughs) from HelloFresh. By going to HelloFresh.com slash FaceJam21 and use code FaceJam21 for 21 free meals plus free shipping. See you next time, folks. Eric's out. JFresh is in. Hey, you know what we need? We need a new sandwich from Denny's. Why don't you tell me about my hammy spice sandwich? Denny's, my hammy spice sandwich. Ham, chorizo, and scrambled egg sandwich with Swiss and American cheeses and pickled jalapenos on a grilled artisan bread. Bullshit. Served with your choice of side, N- now uh, I, which was hash browns. Now, I do want to say, bullshit. I do want to say, this is um, copied and pasted from the official Denny's site. Oh. Mm-hmm. It does not say pickled jalapenos. Oh God! See, it the, says picked. Picked. Oh. They picked them. Why? I don't know. In American what? cheeses and pick jalapenos. <laughs> where, where they even? That's where wild. they pickled? No, I don't think so. No, they must have been though. Pick they were pickle? soft. Pick my pickle. Man, pick my pickle. Pick pickle. <laughs> Look, you read it. You should have. You should have been on top of that. You knew. About I read what. You knew about whether oh, that, it was picked or pickled. I like, you no, should have I mean, been. I mean, you should have been think, sniffing it I think out. He made it clear he didn't. Yeah, he copy pasted it. and Did not read it. <laughs> yeah. I looked and I went. You probably noticed six it. seconds ago, yeah. like he did with Marcy. Marcy, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> Cock sucking expert. Uh, press material. Denny's is one of the most iconic American brands <laughs> in the restaurant industry and beyond. I am truly honored and looking forward to joining the Denny's brand. Team and leading our marketing efforts at such a pivotal, pivotal time. Did somebody's like LinkedIn announcement? See, get this is someone getting a job. <laughs> yeah. it, it, it gets there. Uh, said Sherry Landry, senior vice president and chief marketing officer. There is no press release for my hammy spice, even though it is ripe for the pickling. <laughs> <laughs> Slamo. It says picking. Yeah. Um, is Sherry Landry from the Landry's company? Yeah. What? The, what the fuck is the Landry's company? It's like a big conglomerate of restaurants. Of Landry's. Really? There's, an, there's an anti-Landry. Wait, wait. There was a schism. Oh, well, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> that was good. She came from other restaurants, so It's maybe. possible. So maybe. It would be like um, if Paris Hilton joined Comfort Inn and Suites or something. <laughs> well, I mean, what hotel was she in when she was getting railed? No, that's not. No, <laughs> hang on. <laughs> what? It's not. <laughs> What's up? He wasn't making. <laughs> what what hotel was she in when she was getting railed? Yeah, and that what he said? When there was Hilton, she's the heiress to all the Hilton stuff. Right? Hilton no, I know, but I'm saying, but I'm You're saying, was she in a Hilton? Was she in a Hilton? I mean, because it's like Nepo baby making your making what? your private <laughs> videos at your dad's business. What Nepo baby? What better way to re- rebel from to, <laughs> everything you're owed than to go to a different hotel? Everything, everything you're owed. That's hot. That's, <laughs> there was such a, like. What's a Walmart? It's uh, in the mid 2000s. That's hot was everywhere. Fucking fervor. It was. Oh, yeah. It was, fervor. I mean, it was the hottest say, thing. And it was. That's hot. Yeah. You have to say it like that's that. That's hot. Did you know that. Paris Hilton played hockey in high school. Oh, cool. What? No. Was she, she any good? Did she get drafted? No, I don't think she got drafted. <laughs> she got um, drafted. I think she might be a fucking genius. 
I think she was like I, a marketing tour de force. I kind of agree with and you. And then got out at the right time. Mm-hmm. She and now and now like enough time has passed. She's well, kind of like here's she's kind of rebranded here, here's yes. into a more. Well, here's the thing like, too. Oh, you thought I was dumb? Yeah, I'm actually well, a genius. Here's, here's the thing like too. Thirty eight. Here's the thing yeah. too. Enough time has passed. Also, um, uh, it's similarly, I guess, in my opinion, much like Monica Lewinsky, where it's like, oh yeah, where much time has passed, and you go, yeah, she wasn't the piece of shit no, in that no, situation. No, yeah, by no. the way, Paris yeah. Hilton, like yeah. it's just. It's just America and world yes. misogyny being yes. like, oh, all that videotape yep. that got leaked without your permission, like, ha ha, when you were 19 or something <laughs> yeah. or 20, like, mm-hmm. God, what a terrible person you are. Download. Yep. Absolutely. Like, that was the world, yep. right? Being like, you're terrible, Phil. Well, that I'll was watch the, it. It's like you said, the Monica Lewinsky thing was the same thing. Right. And it's like, wh- what the fuck? <laughs> What like fuck? like like even talking about Paris Hilton right now? You think of like that. It's just like wow, that was all fucked up. Yep, that was really fucked up. Yep, right. And the only reason like we feel comfortable about like talking about her is that she has like reimagined herself yeah. into a very different she, a different person. She uh, really uh, who is a grown up. Also, she, I think there's just more human beings willing to be less pieces of shit. Yeah, publicly. And just, you can only hope so. Yeah. Well, I mean, what I mean, there's still plenty of pieces of shit. <laughs> Uh, I think she did a really good job of um, riding that wave for a very long time mm-hmm. to uh, the tune of a lot of money. Not and, then, done, and then walking away. She's done and some like, pop music too, which oh, hey, honestly, Star, Stars Are Blind, not a bad song. Not a bad song. Not a bad song. All. That said, not that I don't know she's a piece of shit. Mm. Probably is. Yeah. I, I mean, if you're that rich, you probably are. Probably a piece of shit. I, I, just, I, so. just, I, I just want to point out, definitely, There's, regardless of the person, uh-huh. That was a really shitty thing she had to go through as yes. a teenager. Yeah. yeah. I, for yeah. the entire world, basically get like laughed at yep. and like blamed and ridiculed. And it's like kind of insane that like the, that was like, yeah, it's like absolutely it's insane. on her. Yeah. Um, is not like who was the guy? Hey, uh, yo, Paris Hilton's cool. Probably also is a piece of shit. Yeah. Unrelated. Who was the guy? Do gotcha. you remember? No. I don't remember his name. Do you remember the guy's name? Poopy head, I think. It was Mr. Poopy. I want to say it was Steven Dorff, but I don't think that's right. That's not right. What do you mean? Why not? <laughs> Why would you say it was Steven Dorff? I don't know. I thought that was maybe who it was. <laughs> what? No. In what world is Steven Dorff? What are you talking about? <laughs> Hang on. Was it some Nepo baby? Uh, I mean, it's like a club. Oh, yeah. Rick Solomon? I don't know who that is. It says Yo, director. You were, you were it, close. Says, it says director and producer Rick Solomon. <laughs> you, Pretty, so it, pretty so it's like a yourself. Nepo baby penguin club, pe- club penguin. <laughs> club penguin, yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Pretty bold. They have a they have yeah. a private server. Well, now we know everything. Yep. Uh, so what did you think? Uh, we went with Armando, but what did you guys think of this food? Um, it was big. It was tall as shit. Yeah, yeah. They they have to put all this stuff in it because you need the egg. Yeah. You need the ham. Mm-hmm. That's what goes in the hammy. Right. And and now they're gonna add, add this other stuff add the to riso. make it to make it spice. Yeah. So that they can make the Miami spice joke. Mm-hmm. Um, like the picked jalapenos and the chorizo, mm-hmm. um, and it was mildly spicy. Like the there kind, was, of, I, it, the kind of spice is just like it's it's not doing nothing, it but tasted, it's not hurting me. It just tasted like it would have spice without mm. being spicy. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Like it has like a peppery kind of flavor, but like that's really it. I mean, yeah, yeah and then to, the jalapenos I mean, kind of just hang out. I mean, that's literally it. If yeah. you bite the jalapeno, it's hot. Her, yeah. Hermondo took a bite of hey, Michael's <laughs> sandwich. <laughs> just I, I went, after I was done, he kept yeah. eating my sandwich. Um, right. He took a fine. bite out of it that like stunned me because it sounded like it, was, it crunched so it was, loud. It sounded like he bit a carrot. It really yeah. sounded like biting a carrot. It was and fucking you just crazy. Went, what was that? <laughs> and I was like, I think it was the jalapeno. And then he went, <laughs> 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 dude, uh, you ever you ever get that where like, Jalapenos are always so hit and miss, but you get one like bite that just yeah. like it either hits your tongue right or it's just spicy enough. Dude, mm-hmm. it's never the tongue. It it's when you. it's when it hits the back, the back of, of the throat. throat. Uh-huh. Yeah. That is just incapacitating. Well, it's like the like you ever do like shishito peppers where Dude, you're like talk about a crapshoot where you have them and you go like there's no heat, there's no heat, it's good, there's it's no like, heat. Yeah, you're just like, downing them because you're like I'm a, I'm invincible. One in ten yep. is like insanely the hot. You've ever had. I got the one in 10 and it was like, it like brutalized the rest of my meal. Yeah. It, it happened to me too. So it's like relentless hot. It's, it just doesn't go away. It's yeah. like constant little bee stings on your yeah. tongue. It's really crazy. Uh, Armando, who does not review, who does not get a review of the food. He wanted to uh, leave us with the thought that the worst part of the Miami spice was the ham. Right. So yeah. 
He did say well, that. It was also the smallest part. Yes. It was like two thin layers of like fried ham. Yeah. He said they, start by getting rid of that. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I also thought it was more enjoyable when you got rid of the bread. Really? Yeah. Because the bread was like so dry. Oh, I thought my bread was fine. It was and very kind of they, they burned it a little bit. I thought it was really. Oh, mine I was, was definitely was, burned. Mine but was fine. It was, it was really a. Buttery. It was a little. Look, blackened, I'm not, yeah, I'm but, not saying it like ruined the sandwich, but no, when I started I'm, picking it, picking it off. No, mm-hmm. oh, I feel you. I mean, if yours was dry, mine just wasn't dry. Yeah, but it did. It did have like a lit. I mean, it had like a. I don't think it was burnt. It had like the browning of like a grilled cheese sandwich. Yeah. mine had. I would yeah. say mm-hmm. so. It was. It was pretty. It was buttery enough where mine wasn't. Dry, Definitely, but uh, it's very salty. The whole thing it was, was very salty, yeah, well, and it again, was salty. it was it was um, even if not dry, the bread was very sturdy, mm-hmm. and because it's such a tall sandwich, and the yeah. bread the and bread wasn't got, soft, you and gotta it get your mouth open. It didn't even more. depress, right? Yeah. So you're like crunching the bread as you're trying to unhinge Usually your jaw like if, a python. If the bread is soft enough, you can just like gum. You it. can squish it, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. kind of do like like suck on it, like mm-hmm. a. Um, like one of those like you're getting a tip. cookies. Yep. Yeah, like you're getting a tip, sure. Uh so what do you think, Jordan? What do you uh what are your thoughts on I the mean, food? flavor wise, it's pretty good. Like the chorizo tasted good. Mm-hmm. Um it's you know, an interesting mashup of all these foods. I think if you know, they really wanted to get the Miami spice joke, so I guess that's why they added in all the other things. Mm-hmm. But you know, it it was fine. I didn't really hate it. So I'm gonna say it's it's a 67. Okay. Didn't really hate it. And then gives a 67. Mm-hmm. This guy is crazy. Yeah. Not hating is high praise. I, clearly. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah, I didn't really 67 hate 67 it. 67 from Jordan is like, also a high score. It. Okay. Yeah. It could be somewhere around 50. Yeah. It was fine. Mm-hmm. It could be a 90 for mm-hmm. him. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. It was pretty good. It's too big. Mm-hmm. I was fine with the consistency. I agree. The ham was sort of whatever. I mean, the ingredients were good. I'm not like a huge put on a shitload of meat person. Which there really wasn't that much, but uh, there was just a lot going on. I'll yes. say this too: there was a lot of chewing. Going I only on. ate one of the slices. Like I wasn't eating that whole thing. Same, same. Yeah. I ate half, and then the other half is what Armando started. Playing I did with. eat <laughs> all of the hash browns, though. Uh, okay, let me say this real quick, though. I don't think I've ever. <laughs> I don't think I've ever had nor been offered cheese on hash browns. Before. Uh-huh. Yeah, ever. I've, never, that was I've never heard. Oh, that really? And I was just kind of going with it. Oh, I was like, we should all get cheese. We 100%, should just do it. Hundred percent. I've never heard it. In my cheese life. on hash browns is great. I I'm not arguing it isn't. Yeah. I'm just saying I've literally never heard it and never been oh, offered crazy. it in my wow. life. Wow. So she goes, okay. "You want the hash browns like with the meal?" And we're like, "Yeah." And she goes, "You want cheese on the hash browns?" And I just went, "Yes, sure." And then we got it, and I'm just like that. That's wild to me. I've yeah. never eaten hash browns. It comes and it's like, holy fuck. It's like 90% <laughs> it's cheese. It's so much. It and it's all, it's all melted the I fuck was on like, there. I was Dude, like, can I hash get some hash brown with my cheese? Pretty, they were pretty good though. Yeah. They were they actually were like good. Like under, hash browns are real easy to burn mm-hmm. and they get dry as shit. They were still white underneath yep. the yep. top. That's a good hash brown. They did mm-hmm. a good job. Uh, so good starch. I like the sandwich. It's a little big, but you know what? For Denny's, uh, the restaurant sucked and the service was not great and it was empty. And I was a little bit scared, but I'm going to say, I'll give you a 72. Okay. I think that's, that's pretty fair. Yeah. I, I, it, a lot of that f- factoring into the score for me was surprised at how they didn't screw it up. Yeah. It was very simple and kind of just, here's your sandwich. It also in the pictures doesn't look very appetizing. No. I was not looking forward to eating the sandwich. It's a pretty decent looking sandwich. But in person, it was not here, scary. Here, here's the thing I will say for all the ingredients on it. It's not a greasy mess. No. no. Yeah, it's actually yeah. like cooked. It's all very yeah. contained. It's cooked yeah. food. The yeah. eggs aren't running. Like, any, and like anything at a Chili's or a Friday's or whatever is like five Ugh. times as greasy or Ugh. messy or gooey. It's going to be dripping. This thing was you could straight up eat it and just wipe your hands with a napkin. Yeah. yeah. It wasn't sticky. Uh, so 69.5 is the score. Wow. <laughs> nice. And uh, um, I think nice-ish. that's I think it's good. Um We do have some time before so I want to get to the snack, uh, which is good because I wanted to have a quick meeting about it. Oh, cool. uh, the noisemaker that we want to make. Noisemaker. We're making you know, a like the little maker. has like oh, the, the six, little push button. Yeah, we need to figure out what sounds we want so that way Nick can source. Mm-hmm. I thought we did this. No, no, we sort of threw things out there and right. now we landed so on six. We did it. So we need to finalize the six. Okay. So we want the monkey ooh, right? Ooh. Yeah. Uh huh. We want that. We want one hundred percent eat from the episode. Is that? I don't know. Yeah, see, this is where we went last time. I don't know if we need it. Mm-hmm. 
I don't we think can we can table it. it. Let's table that yeah, one. Okay. We go put, monkey, put that in we the back table pocket. that one. I think, unless Jordan has a better one, I think we should definitely do Spear Science. Yeah, oh, that's good. That's a good one. We talked. It's so good. We keep saying it. Put that yep. one in there. Okay, doing it now. Spear Science. Okay. Got it. Um, it doesn't have to stay monkey centric. Should it no, the monkey's so. on? No, no, no. Yeah. Should no, no, no. it be the beginning like of the theme song? Oh, that's not a bad idea. Like a clip. Yeah, like, like just a, like, like the a clip. Five bump, second. Bump, 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 bump. And like, then like yeah. that. Yeah, like that's a, a good like one. A, like a hit clip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Beginning. Yeah. Oh yeah. Where you can only listen to part of the song. Yeah. yeah. It's good. Yeah, but you can keep hitting it yeah. as you walk in the <laughs> yeah, room, yeah. like Michael Scott. Yep. <laughs> bump, bump, bump. <laughs> bah, 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 bah. You just keep pressing it. Yeah, that's um, good. Okay, I like that. Do we one. have the technology to mm-hmm. kind of um, let them have an open slot to for people to record their own? I don't think so. I bet not. Yeah, these things you I don't think man. have that. That's a great idea, but no. Okay, let me let me actually. What if, what if we made that? that Here's the thing. <laughs> yes, but it's going to cost the customer twelve hundred dollars <laughs> <laughs> for for tape recorder for, for five they buy, pre-recorded noises yeah, in one of they, your own they buy they buy a separate kit that <laughs> dismantles the thing they have now you have to buy the monkey noisemaker and a megan robot yeah oh. a megan robot we gotta do a megan style robot it. It, yeah. as long as it dances yep she dances um, oh, she dances. Do we want one that's like those are the facts? Something mm. like that. Um, what are we always saying? Spitting silly. We're great. And you're terrible. It's like to the audience. Yeah. And like you're above. Oh, bug here, here's a good one. Mm-hmm. And we can just record this. Like, here's a reminder. You need us. We don't need you. Like Damn, just dude. so that just so they have it. Just so you know. Yeah. Fuck. Hey, here's here's a succinct version of that. Fuck you. <laughs> Right? That's even easier. Right. We probably shouldn't put fuck you on the noise machine. <laughs> but we should put. I'm not saying we don't, should. I don't. I'm just no, saying. No, no. I'm just saying if uh-huh. we're going to put. Uh-huh. You don't. Uh, we don't need you. You know, you, you need, need us, us. We don't we need, need you. Need. Uh-huh. We might as well also add and fuck you. <laughs> right. You know, because so, it's the same right, thing. Okay, so we should I just want to make off. sure we cross let's uh, get, language barrier. Let's get a little Eric one where he's like, I'm a little spice rat. The, so I definitely that. want one of him crying or screaming or like, no. Or, you know, when he's getting feisty. Yeah. Or, oh, 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 you know what oh, we definitely I'm, need? I'm thinking about getting mad. No, you know what we definitely need from What's him? That? This sucks. Oh, okay. okay. We need this yeah. sucks from this him. Sucks. He says that a lot because he's always sucking. What? This sucks more than a tip at Denny's. Which is easy to do. <laughs> this is very little. It's really saying it's, something. It's not the same fucking thing. It's okay, there's a fucking difference. <laughs> he got ripped off and so did I. <laughs> <laughs> so, so far we have Monkey Ooh. One. Swear science. Two. Beginning of the theme song. Three. This sucks. Four. That's already four. Yeah. So we're almost there. We're like two thirds of the way done, baby. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Where Call were you soon. when McMillions? Oh, that was one. Okay. Happened. That was one I I wanted. Yes. Okay. McMillions song. And I know <laughs> I, I know I threw out the uh, the gun loading sound for when he does an execution. You definitely did. Oh, you oh, definitely that's a did. good idea. So you think that's a good <laughs> idea? One, but we can't one, do fuck you. We yeah. can do gun that, cock sound. Uh-huh. That which, idea was met with middling. Yeah, but I. Yeah, but I, now, here's, now, here's, your thing, here's, here's my thing. I think it's a great it. idea. I don't think it's a great idea to have someone walk around with a gun sound <laughs> right. and you don't know where it's coming from. <laughs> someone's bu- you're walking behind someone. Here's, you, here's what I'm saying. Well, you meant you meant to play the. Here's the other thing too. Here's the other thing too. Immediately, you can argue, <laughs> look, people can get that online. That's fine. Just don't put our names on it. That's uh, true. Mm-hmm, You're putting mm-hmm. our names on it when that's, there's going to be a bloodbath, and at the center of the bodies is going to be this little fucking monkey keychain. Okay? Ooh. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yeah. You just keep hearing, ooh, ooh. This sucks. Ooh. This sucks because a, a corpse is fucking sitting on top of it. So let's not do okay. that one. Okay. I'm just saying. I just think. Asking for trouble, I get it. I'm. I mean, we're not asking for it, but we're putting ourselves in the realm of possibility. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> hey, look, trouble you know, becomes an we, option. We don't want to get in trouble, like calling this podcast the yep. Michael Jordan podcast, right? Okay? We, we need to. We, we need dodged, to avoid any liabilities. We dodged a million lawsuits, real just or imagined. <laughs> yep. well, well, they're definitely one of them. Is there anything from the intro that we want? <laughs> welcome what? to Face. Like, the the song. Face Jam. Oh, well, we I mean, can't we do the song, song and intro. That's true. No, that's true. You're right. Like, we just need like a like thirty three percent intro. A scream? A scream? Yeah. Like a stinger. Mm. Okay. What could that be? I don't know. Hmm. What scream is good that's been on the show? When you say, welcome to Space Jam, I do scream. Oh. Yeah. 
There is the no from that. We could also do something. We could add do lemons. Oh, is this lemons? Oh, this you're hold, either either you is just this, bought lemons. This is, oh, you're holding lemons. This is lemons. <laughs> Face jam. What was it's the thing? You were pounding and were yelling something about lemons. The people demand it. The people want lemons. It was like it that. was it because it was like the line was something about the the, the, the never fer ending the fervent demand. Yeah, for the, lemons. The, the, yes. the demand of lemons. Is this lemons? That was the cookie episode yeah. where or, we didn't get the cookie. Or you know what else we could also do because we also will never be able to put that on a shirt. Cat or gun. Oh, cat, cat or gun's gun. a good one. See, there's a bunch. Oh man, there's all, there's too many already. I'm trying to spread it out. I don't want to do all like you know recent ones. No, no, yeah. I get it. Yeah. But again, my feeble mind can barely remember like how I. I don't remember. I, no, you remember. I don't remember Marcy Sixteenth. <laughs> <laughs> no, you 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 remember. Yeah, no, you remember. I, I just listened to episode one and you said it. Yeah, <laughs> duh. duh. How do you not remember that? Um, okay. And that's the episode. I would say I would say the lemons one oh. is yeah. stronger. Yeah, there's something there with uh, the lemons. We uh, just we'll need to it either like okay, quote from lemons. Yeah, quote Le from lemon lemons. adjacent quote. Yeah. Is Kevin McCarthy lemons? <laughs> Definitely not. Uh, six, seven, Nobody's happy with that four, guy. <laughs> okay. There's like 20 people who hate him in his own party. Where is my hat? You're wearing it. No. The monkey hat. Where is Does it? Has that hat been made? I was surprised that we got this oh, shirt. No, it's not. No, that's why I'm asking. Uh, no, I don't think it's made yet. I know it's not made. I'm just asking where is it in the war? In yeah, the how did, this, how did this get made first? That's because what I'm this saying. Has, this has the same art, I don't know. but it's on a shirt and it know. got made. We never even talked about this shirt. Yeah, right. This got real slapped on. I, oh, I love that. No, it's good, but mm -hmm. I'm just saying like, we talked about the hat for so long and all of a sudden, boom, this came out. And that's why I was like, whoa, where'd the hat go? I don't know. I'll find out. Yeah. But no, that, I mean, that shirt, the 100% cool. sweet shirt. Yeah. Fuck. God, that fucking rolls. Yeah. What a good line. It's whoever came up with that. <laughs> It's so good. Uh, I don't remember what it was, but we were like, well, hang on. We'll come with something better. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It was something, something candy. Related, it was, it was you know? very easy. It was, it was like 100% love or something. Yeah. <laughs> Greetings, Bug Kings. Thank you for the hours upon hours. One of the funniest podcasts out there. What, do you, what the fuck you mean, one of? Yeah. It what really makes fuck? my commute suck there, a little bit less. There are other podcasts. Not sure if you guys have had, uh, if you guys have Kinder Bueno there. They just put out these mini ones. And, uh, oh, the little wanted German to try kid? These out. Yeah, this is from Mara. Thanks, Mara. So here we go. Do we have more of these mugs? Yes. I want to open it and look at it. Yeah, you can it. open that one and look at it. Yeah, go for it. Okay, Kinder Bueno mini. I, I, Jordan, I already was, and then I stopped because I realized it was yours. Yeah, and, well, I went, and I went, oh, I should not open this. I didn't really care Stacey, as much. Stacey, you want a Kinder Bueno mini? I don't mini? think you did. I just wanted to see it. Trust me, I probably don't want it. Yeah. Oh, it's great. I love that mug. Oh, no, I love it. I I can't take another mug. It's so Got many. It. I have 100 mugs. I don't use, I don't even use mugs. Mm. I don't drink coffee. Ah. I like cups. I, I use, like a 16-ounce cup. use mugs every day. It's because, well, I don't drink coffee. And so I drink water. I want big, I want big boy mm -hmm. cup. Ooh, this is good. What are you sucking on oh, now? Yeah. This is like, you said this is called Stephen's Way? Yeah, that's what we said. So what do you think is Stephen's Way? Is this Stephen Dwarf? Dwarf? Yeah, Stephen, Stephen Dwarf. Why did you think it was Stephen Dwarf? I don't know. <laughs> in my head, it Wasn't was Wasn't he him. in Blade? Yeah. It just seems weird, right? But it, it like It seems fits. weird that you would say that. <laughs> yeah. No, it fits. It just seems weird that he was in that video. So. Right. Why was it him? It wasn't. <laughs> what do you think of Mara's uh Ooh, that rules? <laughs> That's awesome, right? Yeah. Um, so that what Michael's looking at is the uh the grumpy monkey mug that you can get on uh is stored on Rich That's not how it was stored when you took it out. Why would you think that's how it's stored when it goes back in, Michael? Because I wasn't looking. <laughs> I was ripping it open. You were looking at it. I was just trying to get to it. There's a difference. I was grabbing, not looking. Precisely. <laughs> I was actually stabbing, not grabbing. Stabbing, not grabbing. There's a good shirt. Uh, Here's so, another shirt. Fuck yeah. you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, just put face jam on the tag. This, <laughs> yep. this is good. It's the perfect size. It's very rich. It's mm -hmm. very sweet. Mm -hmm. Oh, the chocolate. Eat you're holding the mug while you're saying yes, it. Yes, perfect I was like, size. You were perfect talking, you were like, size. it's really good. Yep. And you're like, it's rich. And I went, that's weird. It's sweet. And then I went, what the fuck? Are we talking about the <laughs> yep. candy? And gosh darn it, people like it. <laughs> um, I'm I'm gonna rate this pretty high. I think it's an 85. Bro, wow, that cool. is uh delicious. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's real good. It's light. I like the texture, boop, boop, the little boop. crisp in there. I'm gonna give it a 90. Oh, nice. That's a delicious little snack. Yep. I would 
hate having to open everyone. Yeah. Yeah. Well, but it's a little deterrent. It's a great you know, it deterrent. Slows you down. Yeah. Uh, 87.5. Don't, don't slow me down. Get out of my that's way. That's good. Um, get out of my way. <laughs> I bought the food. Now get the fuck out of my way. <laughs> Thank you, Mara, okay. for sending us snacks. You yes, can send us you. snacks as and well. And for sending us a good snack. Yes, a very yeah. good snack. Very rarely yep. get those. Yeah, yep. when's the last time we had a good snack? I don't know. I, don't I just want to... Stop and sit on it for yep. a second. Thank uh, you. Let's savor that. You can send us good snacks to Face Jam, care of Eric Bedore, 1901 East 51st Street, Austin, Texas, 78723. Did the bad snacks go to the same yes, address? Yes, the bad snacks go to the same address. Okay. Uh, Grumpy Monkey Bug and Sneaky Monkey Shirt and Sign are on sale now. <laughs> that all sounds so <laughs> stupid. <you know? laughs> Where, Grumpy Monkey where, Mug. Where is that a, is that a Grand Crew Slam? Yes, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, what's, it's <laughs> when you get the Stinky Monkey Mug. <laughs> <laughs> it's like when you go to... Uh, any restaurant that has dumb names. Can yeah. I get the egg slut? <laughs> can I get grumpy, the sneaky I, monkey shirt? Can I get the grumpy monkey mug? Thank you. <laughs> you can go to store.roosterteeth.com to grab that. And some face jam decals. Got some cool face jam decals on the store. You can now, follow us at face jam pod. The, I did Instagram, that decals mm -hmm. finally are pointing at good things. Yes. Yeah. It's because we did that. They're out we there. Sure pointing. Did. Yeah. I can I tell you. Uh, I've been wearing the tracksuit, yeah, which oh, we've God. talked about, and yeah. I've been wearing nonstop. I wash that thing like four times a week. Yeah, I literally washed the pants yesterday, or like, sorry, the day before. I took them out of the dryer yesterday, put them on, and then cleaned my backyard and got them dirty yep. and washed them again <laughs> before I left the house. They're fantastic. I wore them the the whole suit like the entire time I was in New Jersey for the holidays. I, Hell yeah! I like barely wore any of my other clothes because again my mother just kept doing laundry, yeah. so I kept going wash this, wash <laughs> this, wash this. So I've been strutting it, and uh, I also I also had in my travel bag a bunch of those stickers I brought and I left them at my mother's house and I'm like just spread these around. Awesome! <laughs> so if you see anywhere, like yep. put them at the kids, put them on the stop right. sign. Yeah. Yep. Hell yeah! I so, did that. We're in the clear. That's you know good. I mean? Yeah, we're absolved. Hell yeah. Uh, Jordan, you want to take us out? Yeah, I don't see why not. Okay. I think I think we're done here. Yeah. Rate and subscribe and tell a friend about the show where we eat food and rate the food. Thank you for listening as always. Uh, look forward to that tracksuit in a couple months. Yeah, eventually. See Save ya. your money because I can guarantee you it's going to be a lot. Just because it's, I mean, it's nice as shit. It's fucking high quality. It's, it, it really is. And it's a, it's a full body suit. I mean, yep. look, you put this on and zip it up. You don't need to wear anything. Nope. You could be completely nude. Yep. It covers from ankles to neck. Yep. Okay. All so the important parts. I'm just saying, unless you're worried about your little tootsies getting, you know, snapped and sold online, which mm. they will sell they on will the dark sell, web. Yes. Uh -huh. Other than that, you're in the clear though. So, uh, hey, start saving up for uh, Christmas or whatever made up holiday you give a shit about. St. Patrick's Day is coming I'm up. I'm including Christmas. It's also made up. It's all made up. Everything's uh, made up. Orthodox. 2023. Not made up. Mm -hmm. Happy Orthodox Christmas, guys. It all just seems so unorthodox. <laughs>